So my name is Prasad Waikar and I am a software engineer in the simulation team at CNC Software. As a software engineer, I design and develop software features in the Mastercam Simulator product, uh, typically in Backlot and Verify. In Mastercam 2019, we have the Toolpath Analysis feature under the View tab. The Toolpath Analysis feature is available in all the three modes of Mastercam Simulator. Toolpath analysis, as the name suggests, is used to analyze toolpath depending upon a color scheme. Uh, we can adopt a color scheme uh, for different operations uh, depending upon the segment length, the feed rate, and the tool used for these operations. The new and enhanced access controller panel is highly intuitive and resembles an actual CNC machine interface. It is primarily used for simulating movements of the machine axis, the spindle, and the turret. The access control feature enables the user to have a real-life simulation of the machine even before he starts cutting. This instills a confidence in the user which is very critical to programming. So uh, Mastercam Simulator has a new feature called the Timeline Zoom. The Timeline Zoom is available under the View tab in Mastercam Simulator. It is used to magnify sections of the timeline. Once the Timeline Zoom feature has been used, the user can move the magnified section of the toolpath backward and forward depending upon the area he needs to inspect in the simulator. I am really excited about the capture and replay feature in the Mastercam simulator. It allows you to simulate uh, material removal along with the toolpath. In literal terms, you can add and remove material while you're scrolling the slider on the timeline playback. Uh, replaying the stock removal process helps in isolating and identifying problem causing moves without having to play the simulation from the beginning. Toolpath analysis is now available for all three modes of Mastercam Simulator, Backplot, Verify, and Simulation. In this example, we will use Backplot. Open the panel by clicking Toolpath Analysis on the View tab. Toolpath Analysis will color code changes in operations, tools, feed rate, or segment to help you analyze the toolpaths in your part. In this example, we will analyze operations. Toolpath Analysis lists the operations and identifies each with a unique number and comment. Mastercam Simulator automatically applies a different color to each operation, and you can change the operation's color if you wish. Click to select a new color or enter values in the color definition fields. To return the colors to the default settings, click Reset Colors. Play the simulation to see the color-coded operations. You can apply color coding to other toolpath changes, including tools, feed rate, and segment length for greater analysis of your file. In this example, we will set segment lengths that we want to identify by adding several new rows and updating the segment length values. By customizing the colors of the toolpath segments, you can easily identify them in toolpath analysis. Color coding toolpath motion aids in the identification of specific areas of interest in the toolpath or posted data. Mastercam Simulator now has Timeline Zoom, which allows you to magnify part of the simulation timeline to see more detail. 
This is helpful when viewing bookmarks that are close together. Toggle this feature on and off using Timeline Zoom on the View tab. Use the Timeline Zoom slider to increase or decrease the zoom factor. Mastercam Simulator highlights the magnified sections on the total timeline located in the lower right corner of the screen. You can move the magnified section of the simulation by sliding it back and forth on the timeline. Toggle Timeline Zoom off to return simulation to the default state. If you turn it back on during the same Mastercam Simulator session, your Timeline Zoom settings are remembered. Timeline Zoom makes it easy to see details of operation changes or bookmarks that are close together. Mastercam Simulator now has a new Enhanced Axis Controller panel, which replaces the Axis Control sliders that were available in Mastercam 2018. Like other Mastercam panels, you can dock or float the Axis Controller panel, as well as adjust its orientation to fit your workspace. The new Axis Controller panel has the look and feel of a CNC machine interface. These intuitive controls allow you to manually move a machine axis, spindle, or turret while viewing the part in simulation. Spin or click the axis selection dial to choose the axis, spindle, or turret you wish to move. The increments of movement can be set to small, medium, or large increments. Move the axis one increment at a time using the plus or minus controls, or spin the jog dial to move the axis freely. Select a different axis, spindle, or turret to preview the movement of other machine components. The minimum and maximum ranges of machine component movement are locked based on the machine. To restrict or extend the component movement beyond the default range, click the lock icon and enter a new value. In this example, we move the z-axis beyond the default range of motion, allowing you to see areas typically hidden by machine components. This is helpful when using a default range of motion, which is less than the actual limit of the machine. Being able to override the default range allows you to visualize the full machine capabilities. You can also turn on collision checking to get a visual indication of a collision between the tool or machine components and the material. When Mastercam detects a collision, it displays the affected components in red. After running simulation, Mastercam adds any collisions to the collision report. The new Axis Controller Panel makes it easy for you to simulate machine movement using an intuitive interface. You will have confidence that the machine will run as expected before you begin cutting. Mastercam Simulator now features a new Capture Replay option while in Verify mode. Using solid stock models, Verify simulates material removal and surface finish and identifies collisions. Activate Capture Replay on the floating toolbar and then click Play. Watch the removal of material from the stock model as Verify captures the toolpath motion. Once the simulation is complete, you can reverse the process and add material back to the stock model. Move the slider on the playback bar forward and backward to add or remove material in real time. Saving the captured data can be very system resource intensive. Therefore, you can activate Capture Replay only for the portion of the toolpath that is important to you. The green indicator above the progress bar shows you where Capture Replay is active.
the capture replay function can be enabled and disabled and then reactivated in a single session. Verify remembers the last capture replay setting of that session. Capture replay is helpful when you want to see exactly which move is causing an issue or identify changes in direction without having to restart the simulation from the beginning.